Hi, welcome to Geometry Class. Today, we're going to do something special today. Today is March 14th, and today we're going to celebrate Happy Pi Day. Does anyone know what pi is when it's spelled P-I? Uh, Katrina, you were the first one up. What, what, is, what is pi? Pi is um, the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter. Okay, do the rest of you, did that make any sense to the rest of you? Maybe we should walk through this, okay? So today we're going to learn, Sophie, I'll ask you a question in a minute. Today we're going to learn what pi is, what you use it for, okay? And then at the end, I'm going to ask if you can figure out why today, March 14th, is Happy Pi Day, okay? All right, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a circle, okay? So this is a circle. Now, does anyone, if I draw a line from one side of the circle, through the middle of the circle, and to the other side, does anyone know what, or remember from class yesterday what this line was called? Sophie? The diameter. So this is called a diameter. Very good, Sophie. So this line here, you guys remember this from yesterday, is called a diameter. So any line you draw in a circle that starts on one side and goes through the middle and out the other side is called the diameter. Let's go ahead and put this up. Diameter. Okay. Now there's another word we learned yesterday that we're going to talk about. And that is if we take a line and we start anywhere on the circle and we go all the way around the circle and back to where we started. Does anyone remember the term for what it's called when you measure all the way around any circle? CJ, do you know that name? Circumference. Circumference, very good. So that's the circumference. You guys were paying attention yesterday. So this is the circumference of the circle. Now I have another question for you which is which um, if this is the diameter, the pink one, and the yellow one's a circumference, okay? Which one of these things do you think is longer? The distance from here to here, or the distance all the way around the circle? Uh, Katrina, it's your turn. What do you think? The circumference is longer. The circumference is longer. Does everyone out there agree? The circumference longer? Yep. Yeah, okay. So now here's another question. Do you know how much longer? So, um, CJ, do you think that the diameter, do you think the circumference is twice as big as the diameter? Can you tell by looking at it? Yeah, I think it's twice as Twice as big? Does anyone think it's bigger or smaller? Sophie? I think it's like, I think it could fit like three times. I think it could fit three times, okay. Now the interesting thing on this is the diameter, you're right, is smaller than the circumference. And we think the circumference is maybe two or three times longer than the diameter, okay? Is that true, do you think, of every circle? What if we draw like a little circle here? Do you think the diameter is smaller than the circumference? Yeah. Yeah? And do you think it's about the same amount? Okay, so now we're going to find out exactly how many times you can fit a diameter around the circumference. Okay? So here's what, I, what we're going to do today. We're going to divide into groups of three. You guys will conveniently be one group here. And you can pick any circle to do this with. So you can use, I brought in a few things you can use. You can use this, if you take this shape. Does anyone know what the shape is called? So if you, sphere. Not a sphere. Sphere is like the shape of a ball. Anyone, any other ideas? Oh, do you want to try again, so? Cylinder. A cylinder. So on a cylinder, but what shape is the top of it, though? CJ? Circle. So this is the circle you're going to use if you use the can. You're going to do a project using this circle, or if you want a bigger one, your group can decide to use either the circle on the bottom of the trash can or the biggest one on the top. What would you guys like to use? Trash can! Trash can! Trash can! Trash can. Okay, so let me tell you what you're going to do before you do it, okay? I'm going to give your group the trash can, and what I want you to do is I want you to take a piece of string, and I want you to put it all the way around the circle, and then cut it so that you have a piece of string the length of the circumference. Okay? After you have a piece of string the length of the circumference, then what we're going to do is see how many times we can take this piece of string and how many diameters fit in it. So you're going to take this long piece of string and you're going to stretch it from one side of your circle to the other side and cut it in the length of the di diameter so we can see if two diameters fit there, which was CJ's guess, or whether it's closer to three, which was Sophie's guess. Okay? And then, all right, so let's get you guys started. So why don't you go ahead? All the, if all the groups are done, you can sit back down. Okay? So, first question is, were you right? Is it true that the diameter is smaller than the circumference? Yes. yes. 
Remember that? Okay, so we were right, the diameter is small of the circumference. So you measured around the circumference with a piece of string, mm -hmm. then you cut it, and then you cut the string into however many diameters would fit in your string, right? And how many diameters fit in that length of string you did? So if you had your hand up, how many do you guys have? Well, we had three. Um, okay, so three. three. And then we had a little bit left, and I wonder and why you, this is a cubic. Okay, three and a little bit left, right? So we'll do maybe plus three. And you'll notice if we ask the other groups in the room, even if they measured small circles like this small, or even if they measured teeny ones like quarters or nickels or dimes, they would all find the same thing. They would all have three and a little bit more. So the interesting thing is there actually is a number for this thing, three and a little bit more. And that number is called... So when you're in geometry and you're working with um, circles and diameters, there's something called pi, and the actual number is a really, really interesting number. It's a number that goes, starts, it's three point, you guys remember decimal points mean a little bit more, it goes 3.1415, and we'll talk about it a little later, but it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. And they've discovered that there are millions of digits after this. And it just keeps going and going and going. So most people, when they need to use pi, they just say, let's just use 3.14. And that would be good enough for pi. So pi is a number that's slightly bigger than 3. And you use a symbol like this to mean pi. And the number is roughly 3.14. And then it goes on and on. So, do you guys know, the interesting thing about pi is they've known about pi for as long as they've written down things. They've known about pi for like 4,000 years. Because all it took was someone to take a perfect circle and measure it and realize that no matter how big the circle is, the circumference was always a little bit more than three times the diameter. They called it pi. And they called it pi, because they needed a name, because they didn't want to always say, multiply it by 3.1415, on and on and on. So let's take one more example, and then that'll be the end of our pi lesson for today. So let's say that we have the Earth, okay? Here's the Earth, and let's say our planet was a perfect circle, okay? And let's say we started right here in Chicago, okay? Here's Chicago. And let's say you dug a hole from Chicago through the very center of the Earth and out the other side. Okay? You started here and you went all the way through. Do you know how far it is through the Earth? It's about 8,000 miles through the Earth. Okay? So if the diameter of the Earth is 8,000 miles, how far is it if you were to walk all the way around the circumference of the Earth? Just an approximation. Katrina, do you have any idea? 8,000 pi miles. 8,000 pi. So give me a rough idea what that number would be. We, we know pi is a little bit more than 3, so how many miles would that be? It would be 8,000 times 3. Okay. So 8,000 times 3, does anyone know what 8,000 times 3 would be? Sophie? I think... I think it's... 24. So it's about 24, now is it going to be more or less than 24,000 miles? Go ahead, you could just say, what do you think? More. A little bit more, because we're not exactly three, we're a little more than three. So if you start in Chicago and you walk all the way around the earth and land back in Chicago, you would have to travel, I guess you can't walk because of the oceans, you'd have to travel over 24,000 miles. And so scientists use this, 24,000 miles, sorry. So scientists use this all the time when they're doing things with circles and spheres to figure out distances across and distances around, okay? So the last question I've got for you is if March is the third month of the year, why do we celebrate Pi Day on March 14th? <gasps> CJ. Because March is the third month. It's the third month and the day is? 14th. So it is 3.14. And happy Pi Day!